guys, it's Justine and I have an unboxing for you and hopefully maybe this view's a little bit better because I moved some stuff that was here so then you're not getting the reflection of the ring light. Hopefully that works better. Um, today we're doing a versus box. So these are both huge. So we'll see if I can lift them both up at the same time. We have a Tokyo Treat versus Japan Crate. These are the candy ones. It might be a little bit unfair because this is the November Tokyo treat and this is the December Japan crate, but it takes so long for them to like get here once you've ordered them that if I waited till the December Tokyo treat comes, we'll be here forever. Um, and these ones I think are both like the premium ones, so they should have a drink in them. Um, initially, my husband said he wanted to do unboxings of the candy ones with me but then he changed his mind because he actually is like super shy so we're going to do tokyo treat first so when you open it it looks like this i'll have to link everything down below because i literally don't remember any of the prices like i want to say it was like 39.99 but i don't know so don't quote me um it comes with a little card which is like is it manga because you're like reading it it looks like you were reading it backwards kind of, so that's cool because, you know, Japan has lots of manga. Okay, so first thing I see, and I'll probably like try most of these, we'll see how I feel. Uh, this one looks like a potato chip with chocolate and coconut, so I probably will try that one because I hate coconut. Uh, let me try to see. Oh yeah, they're all on like one page. Oops. Tells you all on one page, so that's good. So these are Calbi chocolate chips. So exactly what it sounds like. Cool. I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff. Okay, next. This one looks fun. I don't know. You like literally can't read this. It looks like cookies with like chocolate on the inside. So I don't know if you can see right there um, yeah one piece cookie it's chocolate cookie so i don't know i want to like we'll try it it's fun unless it's like one giant cookie oh they're individually wrapped that's perfect okay even better so it comes wrapped like this it smells good, it smells really chocolatey. Okay. It's like a one bite cookie. That's not what I was expecting, but that's good. Cause then I won't be eating it forever. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's delicious because it like has like a chocolate chip cookie, but like extra chocolatey. Um, these are some sort of corn something, Morokashi Wataro, looks like this, uh, where are they, these are spicy soy sauce corn snacks, so I won't eat these because I don't like spicy, but I'll give them to my husband, he will probably like them, um, I'm loving like corn nuts right now, they have garlic ones, so good. Um, caramel taro. I feel like taro is like a vegetable, I think. Uh, what did this look like? Oh, there it is. Caramel taro. Yeah, so that's all it just says. Caramel flavored peanut shaped biscuit. I'm probably not going to try it. Again, I'm more like a savory person unless it's like legit like gummy fruit candies and randomly chocolate okay this one has like dragon ball z on it which my brother used to watch when he was little and i didn't care for it this looks really weird it looks like sawdust covered in chocolate if you guys can see like what the bar looks like hopefully it'll like not be too shiny uh this one is a dragon ball mini choco bar So yeah, it's just a mini chocolate bar, but it just looks like super weird on the inside. So we'll just save that one too. Okay, this one has like Detective Conan. I've never heard of that. It said that right on it, but it looks cool. It looks like it's probably like 
an anime or something or a manga. Uh, this one is a chocolate wafer. So again, I'll probably just save that because I don't want to eat the whole thing and then, you know, oops, then, or not the whole thing, have a bite and then have to put the whole thing away. I want like candies. Where's the candies? I don't want all chocolate. Okay, these ones look like little like eggs. They have a bear on them. Hmm. Where are you? It's like super hard to find them. These are Kumamon sparrow eggs. So it's, uh, what is this? I have no idea what it is. So wish me luck, I'll try this one. Mm, it smells like a nut. But like, I don't know, these are like weird looking. It's very weird looking, definitely it does look like an egg. Oh, it's salty. Okay, that's not what I was expecting at all. It does have a peanut inside. Again, not the biggest fan of peanuts, but I'll eat it. It's like a wafer, but like the outside's almost like, not soy sauce, but it's literally just like salty flavor. And it like has a peanut on the inside. It's like wafery on the outside. I don't know. It's not terrible. I'm sure my husband will love those. I'm not the biggest fan. Okay, what looks fun next? Crispy chocolate. Why is like everything is literally chocolate in here? So weird. Yeah, so crispy chocolate. These look like just little, I think there's two in here. Like a cookie almost. A chocolate flake. It just says chocolate cereal snacks is kind of what that's like. So, I don't know. Weird. I just like that they have like so many candies. Like here we have like hardly any. This, I feel like I've had one of these before and it's like a cheese corn snack and I wasn't the biggest fan. Oh, this one's EB Mayonnaise Umabo, but it's shrimp flavored. Not gonna try, sorry. I would not enjoy that. That's what I was complaining about the um, Ume crate. All the ramen is like fish and I don't really like fish flavored ramen, so. I got the Japan crate, so hopefully we're more, it's like more exciting or whatever. Has more stuff that I like. This is like a waffle, chocolate waffle. Yeah, chocolate waffle. So that's probably good. But again, it's like, I don't wanna eat everything. I wanna save my, I wanna save myself for the delicious candies, not the chocolate. This is another Dragon Ball Z. It looks like it has like cards in it. My phone was just buzzing. Um, a card gum. It's gum. I probably shouldn't eat it, but I want to look at it. Um, oh. It doesn't smell very good. It smells like nail polish, which is not something I want to eat. Okay, so it comes with two cards. I didn't watch Dragon Ball Z, so I don't know who these people are. I feel like, is this Goku? I don't know, no it's not. But that's like the only person I know from Dragon Ball Z is Goku, not even him. And the gum just looks like this. So it doesn't have a smell, but the cards smell like weird. So if I chew gum right now, then I won't be able to talk to you guys. Okay, what is this one? Splatoon 2. So this looks like it has two packs of slime in it. Literally slime, if you look in like the corner. It's like oozing out of there. Yeah, gel candy. It says, do you ever wonder what the colored ink in Splatoon tastes like? I don't know what Splatoon is, but this one I will try. Hopefully, I'm gonna try. There's green and pink. And like, if you guys have been around, you know that like, pretty much the only flavors that I don't like in candy or like watermelon and coconut. So you get four and it comes with like a little, I think this is a sticker or a tattoo or something. It's like a Nintendo Switch, I think. Splatoon on it. 
and then you get like four little packs and because that's the problem is like pink or green could both be watermelon and if it's watermelon i do want i don't want it but it's got like little squiddy guys on it hopefully this is like green apple that would be perfect I think it is, but I didn't get enough to tell. I don't think it's lime, but it like almost tastes like pop, like Mountain Dew almost. Like it's not carbonated, but it almost tastes. And it's like a little bit sour. Like it literally just tastes like melted sour lime candy oh. and it's gooey I don't even know if I like like it or don't like it because it's weird I'm just gonna set that one sitting up in the box so that ooze doesn't go everywhere it's just not like my favorite texture because the texture is a bit odd okay this is Baruto, Naruto, Next Generation. And this is energy drink right on it. I mean, it has like a picture of a hand. And it says gummy. So I feel like it's a gummy hand energy drink flavor, maybe. Um, yeah, energy gummies. And maybe this is the Christmas. It, well, it does say December, actually. So, and then it shows you like the premium extras. So the chocolate waffle, the Dragon Ball Z mini chocolate bar, the Splatoon gel candy, and then there's two other things that are like with the premium box and the rest, everything else is the classic box. I didn't realize that before. Okay, this looks interesting. So like literally is like a hand and a star. So I'm gonna eat the star because it's littler. Mm. Oh, the other flavor that I don't like is banana. But this doesn't smell like banana. It almost it kind of smells like, like pineapple maybe or something, unless it is legit energy drink flavored. But yeah, it's like a gummy. It's like a hard gummy. It doesn't really actually have a taste. It does taste like the smell, but it's not like overpowering at all. Okay. Next is, I believe this is the DIY one. And it looks like you like make little popsicles. Yeah, this one looks so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, this is Horadikiti, I don't know, Ice bar DIY kit. So maybe when I make this, I will do a video. We'll see how much time I have because this video is already crazy long. This one I'm gonna eat. I'm excited. They're like pop rock candies, or that's what I'm assuming they are. Maybe they're not, and I'll eat them and I'll be very disappointed. These are Pochi Pochi Cola popping candies. Mmm. I love how like the Japanese candy flavors are cola. I think that's like one of the best flavors, and it's hard to come by here. So let's see what they look like. Okay, they're like, I don't know if you guys are able to see it in the bag. Let's see if we can. It's got like little white, hide myself, little white things. And then the popping rocks are brown. Oh, white and pink. Can you see those? I just don't want to dump them everywhere. Mmm. Oh. Those are delicious. The like little candies inside are like sour. You probably saw that on my face and I love sour candy. Those are good, I like those, yum. And next there's Pokemon. And this almost looks like a Kinder Surprise. Um, oh, where are you Pokemon? Oh, it's not even on here. Okay. I don't know, maybe I got a special surprise. 
Oh, it is bonus. Hello, in giant letters, bonus. Part two. Yeah, I feel like this is like a kinder surprise because I have no idea. Oh, it's so cute. Look at its little egg, buddy. And yeah, so I feel like it's chocolate. Choco egg. Okay, how do we break it? Let's see if it tastes. Because wouldn't it be funny if it's like Japan's version of like a Kinder Surprise? It literally is. Literally the white chocolate on the inside, dark chocolate on the outside. Yeah, like tastes exactly the same. There's a Kinder Surprise. Okay. kid for sure I love Pokemon but like the old Pokemon not the new Pokemon where there's like more than a hundred Pokemon and they're weird ones don't like those ones okay we have the drink which looks fruity and carbonated I was surprised that they would send drinks because I think before I haven't been able to oh okay this is Kirby melon and it says watermelon flavored and I just told you guys that I hate watermelon but maybe it's not the yucky artificial flavor kind and this is you're supposed to shake it are you serious? Watermelon soda. I'm not shaking this. Like, look at it. It'll explode. But it literally says shake it. See, step two, shake. What if we, like, shake it nicely? It says ten times. Oh, no. It's like the gross fake watermelon. I'll try it, but it's disgusting. I can already tell. Oh, and it's like thick. It's got like chunky things in it. Ew. What are those things called? I didn't know that or I wouldn't even have opened it. It's got like... No. What are the... I don't know. What are those um, like bubble tea? You know, those things? No, thanks. And then the last thing, which I'm not going to eat also, but they're in here. They're orange Kit Kats. So that's fun because I know Japan has like a million different kinds. But you know how there's like those um, orange chocolate eggs that you smash? Don't like them. So I'm not going to probably like that. So that's Tokyo Treat. Um, I think I have another one coming. I'm kind of disappointed of like the lack of actual candy. More of it was chocolate. So... That kind of sucks, but that's fine. We have Japan Crate, so fingers crossed that it's more candy-based, not chocolate-based. But maybe they were thinking, like, because it's Christmas time, people like chocolate. Like, I don't know. I don't know what normally comes in it. I was trying to watch boxes, like, unboxings, but it seemed like all of them were, like, old. Okay. First look in here. It's pretty, pretty stuffed. Whoop. And then this booklet reads like a booklet or well it opens up okay so it has like there's a mini box original box and premium so we have the premium one which means we get a drink oh the drink looks so good okay let's start soda gum so that's cool again not gonna try it just because then i can't talk to you guys but it feels it's like a stick like it's not thick it's just a stick and it's soda flavored which would be delicious I feel like this one's gonna be better already. Um, these have just like a little lizard guy and it feels like little balls in here. Um, uh, lizard guy, chameleon candy. Oh, it says they're like hard, they're like a gobstopper. And it says they like start off at whatever flavor and change to another flavor or color. But yeah, literally like a gobstopper. I don't know, do you have gobstoppers in the States? Cause in Canada we do, maybe it's a Canadian thing. I don't know. Um, this looks familiar because we just got it in the other box, but this one's broken. The waffle chocolate thing. And this also looks familiar because we literally just got it. Is it even on here? Oh yeah, 
chocolate the flake thing so it must be good if they're putting it in two boxes which is super weird because i would never think that like the snack boxes would have doubles because sometimes my book boxes do but anyways i'm talking like way too much um this little thing chocolate umabo i think those are those corn things yeah the puffed corn snacks so it's weird to me that they're like flavored anything but like savory so that my husband can have oh this one looks fun i'm gonna eat this mini bottle this is sprinkle your tongue in cider sherbet with this mini reusable bottle of powder candy one of three flavors there's strawberry cider or lemon so mine's supposedly cider which will be weird oh not reusable resealable oh you know how like it like smells like apple cider vinegar okay they're like did you guys see them they're just like teeny tiny little snowballs They don't taste like anything. Okay, they did, but not really. And they're weird. They're like chalky little, little bits. Um, they're not terrible, but I probably wouldn't go out of my way to try to buy them. Um, and then we have, this looks like, I don't know, like a little candy ice cream thing. Has like a drink on the front, but ice cream. Uh, super Shiga Kaka Su Melon Cream Soda. Okay, we just talked about how I don't like melon. So, but it's a chewy candy that's melon flavored. So if this wasn't melon flavored, I would be down with that. Oh, this one's cute. It like has a, it's like a, you know, the things where you like dip your sucker in the thing and it looks like it's grape flavored. Um, where are you? Sherbert grape. Yes, we are trying this. Hopefully, I don't know if they're like popping rocks or if they're just, oh, it smells so grapey and delicious, the little sucker. Mm. The grape powder is a little bit choppy, but the sucker is good. Okay, these look like lemon candies, individually packaged. Oh, salted ramune, salty grapefruit. That sounds delightful, because I am a salty person, <laughs> but I like salt. Oh, it smells kind of weird, but that could just be packaging. Oh. Okay, not what I was expecting. I was expecting like a, you know, like a candy. Like, not that this isn't a candy, but you know, like the clear candies. Mm. I like it because I like salt, but was very weird. Definitely lemon salty, so I don't know if everyone would like that. Again, like, I like it, but I wouldn't go out and buy them. Okay, I have, I see a little tiny Super Mario Bros. Um, I don't know if this is, oh, there he is. Wii gum. Like, Wii, not tiny, but like, you know, the Wii system. So there's one of those. This little thing, a Wadama apple. Okay, this is a hard candy, so I'm not gonna eat it, but it's just like a round ball in here. An apple flavor will be delicious. Um, this little thing is a great little gummy bear. I think we just get one. So it like looks like this. He's bear shaped. We're gonna eat him if we can figure out, oh there. So if we can get it out of here, we will eat it. Grape flavored, kind of like grape medicine flavor, which I love, but if you guys don't like that, you're, you probably don't smell it. I'll tell you if it tastes like that. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. Mm 
kind of medicine flavor. If you don't like grape medicine flavor, don't eat that. But it was good. Even though it's like, they have like hard gummies, so they're kind of weird. Um, this is Winter Cheesecake Koala March. <gasps> I love these. I like the, um, it's probably not the same brand or whatever, but you know, like the panda ones that have chocolate on the inside. Those ones I love. And those are cheesecake. They'll probably be delicious. Oh, there we go. Okay, it smells like cheesecake, which is a little off putting. But these are so cute. Mm hmm. Delicious. Okay. This guy's cute. I think this is maybe a DIY. Yeah. No munchu melon jelly. Ugh. Why is it always melon flavored? So I won't be eating that, but if I make it and like give it to my daughter or to my husband, then I will make a video for you guys. And we have more Kit Kats where these are bonus. Autumn chestnut Kit Kat. So this one sounds better than the orange. I'll try one of these ones, but they're like white chocolate. So that's interesting. Oh, the bag smelled gross when I opened it up. Do you guys break your Kit Kats or do you just bite them? Am I gonna make people be weirded out? I'll just take a little bite. It tastes like a coffee crisp, honestly. It's good. Yeah, that's fine. I like that one. Uh, these ones. Christmas Black Thunder. They look like a chocolate bar. I feel like they're individually wrapped. Enjoy and share one of Japan's most popular chocolate candy bars, Black Thunder. Six different wrappers just for the holidays. Well, they're just like the rice top ones, but each of them has, well, there's six different, oh, they're tiny, okay. I thought there were like six big bars, but it's just six different wrappers. It smells like, um, definitely chocolatey. Too much chocolate for me. Like it doesn't taste bad, it's just like a little much for myself. This one. I'm very excited for it because it's savory. Rich cheese pizza chips. These are gonna be amazing. So it has Emmental, which is delicious blue cheese, which is and iffy, uh, Cambrere, and cheddar. So I don't know if it's like every, sorry, I was talking too long. I don't know where that cut out. So it has four different kinds of cheese. So I was just saying, it's like Emmental, blue cheese, camembert, and cheddar. And hopefully it's not all four of those on each chip because the blue cheese might be a little iffy for me, but we're gonna go ahead and just crack them open. They smell like cheesy deliciousness. They just smell like, um, in Canada, we have Old Dutch and they're like, uh, what is it? I just went blank, it's like, oh my God. I don't know, they have like au gratin or whatever now, but it used to be like sour cream and cheddar. That's what they are. That's what they smell like. That's what they taste like, exactly. Mmm. This is my favorite part. And they have like, I didn't even show you one up close, hold on. Big old chunk of pieces of cheese flavoring. Mmm. They're delicious. And I'm one of those people that licks their fingers off after. So if that grosses you out, sorry, but can't waste any flavor. And now, 
the other part that I was super excited for is the drink. And it's because it's freaking apple coke. Who's had an apple coke ever in their whole life? Not I. I'm super excited. We'll just crack this puppy open. <gasps> Did you guys see that? Don't explode any more than that, please. It smells like apple coke. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. It's like... It's almost like apple cidery or like apple juice. Like it's not as much cokey, but it's like carbonated. Oh. That's gonna suck that I'm not gonna be able to get this here. This tastes so good. If you guys have this or you can get your hands on it, it's delicious. Mm. And it's not even cold and it's delicious. We actually had some limited edition ones here in Canada over the summer. There was like um, a berry Coke, it was pretty good. And what was the other flavor? Like mango, and it was pretty good. I think it was, was it Coke, maybe it was Pepsi, I don't know. I'm not too picky. I like regular Coke and Diet Pepsi. Mmm. I like it. That's very delicious. Mm. I don't think I'll share that one with my husband. He can have the chunky watermelon drink. Okay, what else do we have in this card? Anything? It tells us about what's happening in Japan, which is kind of neat. So there is like a shrine that happens from December 2nd to 3rd, and then there's fireworks for two and a half hours. And then there's also on December 14th, a winter festival that looks cool. And then it says at the bottom of this page, learn Japanese, so it's like, so if it doesn't tell you how to pronounce them, it just tells you the word and tells you what it means. So it says reindeer is Tonakai. Family gathering is Kazukunu at Samari. Have a great winter vacation. I Fuyu Yasumi. Oh, I don't know. Oh, and then you can like send your pictures in. And what do you get? You could be featured in the next month's issue. And then there's a Carolyn contest, so share a picture. You could win some stuff. Yeah. And it says each month one lucky subscriber is randomly chosen to win the Sugo crate filled with giant candies, Japanese gadgets, toys, and stuff. So that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, so sorry, this video is going to be like 1,000 years long. Um, because of that, I probably won't do a comparison anymore. Or if I do, I'll just show you guys what's in it. I won't actually taste anything unless I really, really am dying to taste something. Uh, yeah, so let me know which one you guys think is better. For me, the winner is Japan Crate, just because it had more things that I'll actually eat and it wasn't just all chocolate. And like I said, I'm not the biggest fan. It doesn't mean, like, I mean, if you love chocolate, obviously you pick the Tokyo Treat because you're like, yeah, chocolate. Um, and then let me know if you guys actually want me to try everything or if you're fine with me just showing you. Um, yeah, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll link everything down below and have a great day. And then a Merry Christmas if I don't see you before then. Bye!